the dog, dog scientists. scientists. My name is Gaia and my name is Tara. We're two sisters with a pack of dogs and a love for science. We explore the world of wolf and dingo-like dogs and present some interesting facts in simple terms. I study biochemistry and neuroscience and I study genetics, cell and developmental biology. We both share a passion to learn what keeps our canine friends healthy and happy and we try to entertain you a bit at the same time. So if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like it and please make sure to subscribe to help grow the channel. In this video, Gaia and I are going to look at cow hawk legs in dogs. First, we will explain how cow hawk legs are formed and then we will explore what you can do to treat them. However, we would like to remind you that Tara and I are only aspiring scientists. We are giving you this information to the best of our knowledge. If you have any concerns, please speak to your veterinarian. Okay, how does it look in dogs then? I already mentioned some basic information in my short with Shuli, our Belgian Malinois. There, you can quite clearly see her cowhawk legs. Let's have a look at it again. Cowhawk legs in dogs is when the hawks point toward each other, causing the toes to turn outwards. The cowhawk trait is thought to be genetic, that means it does not go away completely over time. One thing you can do is to train your dog so that its hind legs get stronger, which reduces the appearance. Most dogs with cow hawks live very normal lives. However, severely cow hawk dogs may struggle with weakness in the hind legs, causing them to tire more easily when they walk, and they may not move with as much efficiency. I'm sure you wonder what actually causes it. There can be several reasons why a dog might develop cow hawk legs. We will discuss each one in more detail. So let's start with the most common cause, genetics. If a puppy is born with cow hawk legs, it will not go away completely over time. In some cases, the condition will only become visible in the dog's adult life. Either way, a dog with cowhawk legs should not be bred. Cowhawks can also appear in puppies whose parents are not cowhawked. This suggests that the gene can also be recessive. A recessive or non-dominant gene means that the respective trait can skip one or even more generations as the affected are usually offspring of unaffected carriers. Some breeds are more predisposed to this condition. Cowhawk legs are more common in working line dogs like German Shepherds, Border Collies, Basset Hounds, for example. However, that doesn't mean that they are the only ones who can get it. Now, there are a few other, much rarer cases where cowhawk legs can be caused by factors other than genetics. Hip dysplasia is a deformity of the hip that occurs during growth. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint. During growth, both the ball, the head of the thigh bone and the socket in the pelvis must grow at equal rates. In hip dysplasia, this uniform growth during puppyhood does not occur. Hip dysplasia begins to develop in puppies when they're five months old but may not manifest until much later. So technically not directly linked to the cowhawk diagnosis, advanced hip dysplasia can cause a cowhawk-like appearance in dogs. The next potential cause is improper nutrition. If a puppy doesn't get enough of the proper vitamins and minerals in the early stages of development, it can lead to structural abnormalities in bones, muscles, and joints. For example, if a puppy gets too little calcium in its diet, it can impair the development of strong bones, which could lead to structural problems. A lack of exercise can also lead to development of cowhawk legs. 
When the muscles are not being used properly, the bones might grow in abnormal manners. Overexertion is another factor that can lead to cow-hawked legs. We're sure you have experienced how puppies love to run and jump even on hard surfaces. These are quite strenuous activities for them, which can lead to abnormalities in their developing bones, muscles and joints, especially when puppies aren't given adequate amounts of time to rest and relax. Cowhawked legs affect dogs' overall postures and movements. When they walk or trot, their hind legs may interfere with each other, resulting in an unnatural gait. This can also put additional stress on their other joints, which can lead to even more problems later in life. Cowhawked legs cannot be completely corrected in most cases. However, its appearance can be reduced. So, let's look at what you can do to treat them. Well, in some cases, cowhawked legs can be corrected with surgery. However, this should really only be considered as a last resort. Surgery may lead to very long recovery times and require significant care and attention. If you are looking at this option, please talk to your veterinarian to get medical advice for your dog's specific situation. Physical therapy is another treatment option. Licensed veterinarians or physiotherapists can develop exercise plans for dogs to help strengthen their rear legs. Besides that, there are a variety of training exercises that can be done at home to help strengthen a dog's rear leg muscles, which can reduce the appearance of cowhawk legs. Some of these exercises include walking up a hill. While this exercise is fairly simple, it requires the dog to use more of the muscles in its rear legs. If the surface is uneven, it can also help build coordination and muscle stability. Swimming is another good exercise as it doesn't put excessive pressure on the joints, but still builds muscle strength. Some dogs are natural born swimmers, others may need a little bit more time. Start out by introducing your dog to shallow water. Use positive reinforcement and treats to reward them for their progress. When your dog is comfortable with shallow water, gradually move to deeper water. Once your dog starts paddling to stay afloat, you can put an arm under your dog's belly to provide a little extra support. Remember to keep the experience positive and fun. Low hurdles are another great way for a dog to improve its hind leg coordination muscle strength, and stride length. You can use any object, a box or a stick, for example, which your dog can step over. In the beginning, it is easier to hold the object closer to the ground until your dog feels comfortable enough to jump over it. Then, over time, as your dog gets more used to it, you can begin raising the object higher up. While these exercises are specific to reducing the appearance of cow-hawked legs, there are other exercises you can do with your dog that focus on strengthening the rear leg muscles. These include walking backwards. For this exercise, start by positioning your dog in front of you. Then start taking steps forward. This should make your dog start walking backwards. If your dog doesn't take a step back, Keep walking forward and start leaning forward. Give your dog a treat as soon as a step back is taken. Eventually, you can add a command so that your dog can even do it on cue. If your dog tries walking around you instead of taking a step back, you can try doing this exercise in a narrow area where your dog doesn't have space to go around you. An exercise which doubles as obedience training is sit to stand. Start out by getting your dog to sit. Hold a treat to your dog's nose, then pull it straight back and away from your dog. Your dog will stand up while following the treat. Repeat this several times and don't let your dog rest too long in between sitting and standing up. 
Like the sit to stand command, down to stand is also an obedience exercise. Start by getting, by getting your dog to lie down on the floor. Hold a treat to your dog's nose, then pull it away from your dog towards you. Like before, your dog will stand up to follow the treat. Repeat this several times and again, don't let your dog rest too long in between laying down and standing up. Walking up a set of stairs is another great exercise that can not only help strengthen dog's rear leg muscles, but also their shoulder, lower back and core muscles. Start out with a few smaller steps, then gradually increase the number of steps and change the stairs with higher steps. Walking back down again to redo this exercise also helps, especially for their shoulder muscles. You should avoid doing this exercise with puppies less than three months old, as studies show that stair exercises too young can lead to hip dysplasia later in life. A healthy diet is key for any dog, but it is especially important for puppies as they require the right nutrients to support their developing bones and muscles. While there are no supplements or medications to treat cow hawk legs directly, there are some supplements that can be given to dogs to support their bones and joints. Two common supplements are glucosamine and chondritin sulfate. Glucosamine is a naturally occurring amino sugar created from glucose and glutamine and is produced by the body to make other chemicals which build tendons, ligaments, cartilage and the fluid that surrounds joints. Chondritin sulfate inhibits the destruction and promotes the production of cartilage components. It's one of the building blocks of cartilage. Simply put, cartilage is a strong, flexible, connective tissue that protects your joints and bones. It acts as a shock absorber throughout your body. Cartilage at the end of your bones reduces friction and prevents the bones from rubbing against each other when you use your joints. Dogs naturally produce glucosamine in their bodies. However, the production can decrease and become less consistent as they age. Chondritin sulfate promotes water retention and elasticity in the cartilage, which helps to ensure adequate shock absorption and nourishment of tissues that line the joints. MSM, which stands for methyl sulfonyl methane, is another supplement that can be given to dogs to help certain joint problems. It is used as an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant supplement when dogs suffer arthritis, a condition where joints are inflamed. And as we know now, dogs with cowhock legs are prone to an increased risk of getting arthritis later in life. As I mentioned before, feeding your dog a well-balanced diet, which includes the right amounts of vitamins and minerals, is important. Most dog food kibbles already contain the required vitamins and minerals. However, when feeding your dog a raw diet, adding a multivitamin supplement can guarantee that they are getting all the necessary vitamins and minerals. Yet, it's important to remember that giving your dog any supplements can have side effects. Check with your veterinarian to figure out the best diet to keep your dog healthy. So, to summarize, cowhawk legs are usually the result of genetics. There are cases, however, where other factors like advanced hip dysplasia, inadequate nutrition, lack of exercise, or overexertion play a role. In most of the cases, cowhawk legs cannot be completely corrected. Its appearance, however, can sometimes be reduced. Different treatment options such as surgery, physical therapy, and exercise can be undertaken. Please also make sure your dog eats a healthy and well-balanced diet containing the required vitamins and minerals. In some cases, providing your dog with supplements like glucosamine, chondroitin, and MSM is advisable and can help improve your dog's bone and joint health. 
You cannot just go around eating anybody that you want to. I cannot. No, you cannot. Most dogs with cowhawks live very normal lives. Shuli, for example, enjoys running and jumping like every other dog. Let us know if your dog has cowhawk legs as well. We would love to hear your experiences, what exercises you did to strengthen your dog's rear leg muscles, and what supplements were helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, and please make sure to subscribe to help grow the channel.